Welcome to the Transcendent Minds podcast, the podcast where we explore the mysteries of the mind and the human experience. Join us as we delve into topics such as consciousness, spirituality, and personal growth with expert guests and thought-provoking discussions. Get ready to expand your mind and discover new insights on this journey of self-discovery. Now here's your host, Peter Michael Deeds. Today, I have a guest who's at the age of 45, being diagnosed with multiple life-threatening health issues that left him with less than three years to live. Instead of surrendering to despair, he embarks on a remarkable journey determined to break free from the shackles of subpar health and discover the secrets to longevity. His unwavering determination and passion led him to create a company that has become synonymous with top-level health and wellness. It's an absolute honor to welcome the founder and visionary behind Activation Products, Ian Clark, a man whose life story and commitment to excellence serves as an inspiration to us all. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Ian Clark. Welcome, Ian, to the Transcendent Minds podcast. Peter, yeah, thanks for having me on. Your health journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. Can you take us back to that moment when you received your diagnosis and share with our listeners the emotional and mental battle you went through and how did you summon the courage to defy the odds? It was one of those situations where it was either do or die. I would either go the doctor's route and let them take control of my health situation, which was very dire, and hope for the best, or find out if there was another way, which I didn't have any knowledge around that. I just knew that I woke up the morning in the middle of the whole thing after getting all this barbaric offerings, which I thought were just horrific. Things that they were going to do to my body was very uncomfortable. And I woke up one morning and I I realized there are people on the earth somewhere who have great knowledge about how to have a healthy body and it's got to be done naturally. And I basic smatterings of different people who have a certain amount of information along the road, but I didn't really pursue it. I had an interest in natural health, but didn't do anything about it. And so there I was. And I had all these things blowing up in my body with a tumor and heart disease and liver malfunction at 46 years old, which is way too young. And I didn't like any of the options. So I set out on a course to hope, and I call hope as expectation, hoping that I could be led to people who had the the knowledge. And if I could, then I was willing to do whatever it took because I had nothing left to lose. I had just gone bankrupt that year. I had signed the, signed the bankruptcy documents. It was ridiculous. That was a totally embarrassing and humiliating situation. And it was my fault entirely. I knew that. I could have blamed everybody else, of course. I could blame circumstance. or, But at the end of the day, it was me that caused the problem. And the same thing happened with my health. I could blame my family genetics. I could blame my past life circumstances. I could blame whatever I want. But it wasn't going to help me. So when I realized blaming myself or blaming everybody else is not going to be the answer, I had to get this fixed or I was going to lose my connection to this realm, which is the physical interface to be able to communicate here and be valuable to the people who are counting on me and to continue my life. And one of the things that really irked me is that I knew that my mission was not even close to finished and I was being completely interrupted. And I thought, that doesn't even make sense. Like I I looked 26 years back, which was just a moment to when I was 20, and both of my uncles on my mom's side died of cancer. They were both diagnosed. They both did exactly what the doctors told them. They were dead within a year, both of them. They actually both died. One died on the other one's funeral in 1978, two days apart. And so that sent a pretty big shockwave through our family. Their mom, my grandmother, she lived till 103. My grandfather lived till 87. And here they were dead at 51 and 54 years old. My mom lived till in her 100th year. So I was not interested in taking the doctor's advice, actually. I know doctors help people all day and every day, and people go to the doctor for a lot of reasons. It's fine. But for me, it was not the answer. And I was very fortunate to have this, like an unction and inspiration that there were people who really knew. I didn't know how to find them or where they were, but I just knew they existed. So that gave me this spark of hope. And I thought, I'm going to ask to be led to them. I want to be led to these people. If I could be led to these people, I will do exactly what I'm told to do, and I'll listen, and I'll do whatever it takes. Even if I have to suffer at whatever level or have so much fun or spend so much money that I didn't have, or whatever it was that I had to do, because I had nothing left to lose. I was basically down. 
what many people do is they go into blame and avoidance. And what exists on the same line is truth and responsibility. And we can either flare into blame and avoidance, or we can become accountable and step up, stand tall, and step into truth and responsibility, which is what I see you did. Were there any pivotal moments or decisions that shifted your perspective from accepting your diagnosis to actively pursuing health and wellness with such determination? Oh, yeah. The big clicker there was that everyone, my family, my brother, who was a doctor for 30 years, my mom, everyone was telling me to follow through and do what I was told, to give my responsibility to other people. And that was like, wow, it's not their body. If they screw up, I'm the one who pays the price. The doctor gets a little mark on his little clipboard that says I died, right? I get a, an inscription on a gravestone. That's no, no, that, that wasn't working at all. And the one thing that I remembered, and this is weird and people can think this is weird or not. I've had this kind of stuff happen in my life a few times. And this was in grade one. So what, I was seven years old and it was about halfway through the year. And we had this really cute, short, little Japanese woman school teacher. And back then they took the whole class for the whole day. They were our teacher. They taught every subject in grade one. And one day she's got up in the chalkboard and she goes, I'm going to teach you guys today about statistics. She goes, it's a long word, but I want to explain what it is. So she gave an example. She said, there's 31 children in the classroom here. And out of the 31 children, she wrote down on the board, there's going to be one person based on statistics who will be passed away by the time they're in their 30s. And then there was so many for 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 and so on. And the bulk was in the 60 and 70 range. And she said, one person in the classroom is going to live till 100. And I wasn't thinking anything other than just listening to her. I didn't have any, you know, say, oh, it was me. I didn't do that. But this kid next to me, his name is Marty, a little Italian kid. He looked over at me and he goes, oh, you're going to be that one that lived till 100. And I looked at him and he wasn't like a close friend of mine or anything. He just knew me from school. So I looked at him like that. And then this young girl named Kimberly to my right, she said, you're right. You're the one. You're going to live till 100. And I was like, okay, I don't know. I just remembered that. And it, it struck me that why would they do that? I don't know. I didn't say that, but I, I'm okay with that. And so at 46, when I was going to be dead by 49, that didn't make sense. So I thought, I wonder, I think I have to find out what's going on because I certainly don't know. And I knew the doctors didn't know because they were guessing at what I had. Like this tumor was actually related to fungal infections, heavy metal overload, chemical overload yeast overgrowth, and a bunch of bacterial stuff. And it was just there. And it took me seven years to learn all about this. And eventually my body dissolved it out of itself. So there was no big miraculous thing that happened, but it was this slow thing of detoxing and finding out, oh, okay. And then what do I do about fungal infections? And what do I do about heavy metal over? and all of that stuff? So doing those things got rid of the tumor entirely, but it took seven years. So that taught me something. I was like, oh, okay. So things aren't really the way we think they are. I could have opted out and taken the operation, right? They would have cut me open, could have metastasized. Who knows? You don't know what's going to happen. The fortunate thing for me is it was right down around all my male plumbing. It was right between my legs, right at the bottom of my abdomen, and it would groan a lot. And it extended out to the scrotum and to the rectum. So it was this really nasty thing that when I was sitting there, I could feel it with every heartbeat. And I thought, man, how are they going to cut that out of there? It was attached to the colon, and they're going to cut that. And I started looking online and it's not good. They cut them out, they come back and there's all these other problems that are associated. So I was fortunate that's where it was because I was more worried about my male organs than whatever. <laughs> just one of those things. It's very personal. So that really flipped the switch to just go forward. Because my brother told me, who was a medical doctor, he goes, this is totally genetic predisposition. You look like Uncle Don. He died at 51. Just fess up, face the facts. You got the genetics are against you and it doesn't matter what you do. You just got to get the stuff out of your body and you got to take the drugs that they're going to give you. So I told him, I said, I think it's my responsibility. And he goes, no, don't blame yourself. That's going to make it worse. I said, okay, well, I'm not blaming myself. I just want to take responsibility. I know that I'm the one causing my problem. I just don't know how and why yet. And he phoned my mom up and told my mom I was committing suicide. When that happened, I was like, oh, dude, don't do that. So I told everybody, my mom and my brothers and sisters and my wife. And I said, look, you guys got to give me 24 months. I'm not interested in somebody else telling me what to do anymore. I want to find out and I want to be told by the people I'm asking to tell me. So if you look good, your skin was clear, everything was brilliant and beautiful. I would then listen to people. 
because I was out searching. I ran into some really interesting health people and they looked great. They were in top condition. They were happy. They were grounded. They were knowledgeable. And that gave me great confidence that I was on track to start meeting some really good people. And I did. I was led all the way through to the people at the very top of the world with their knowledge and wisdom on how for you and me and everyone to support our body's ability to stay healthy. And I knew that if I have a healthy body and if you have a healthy body, it doesn't die. It's not an old age thing. Old age doesn't kill people. Ill health kills people. So I was really intrigued with all these experts and gurus and sages, people who had the great wisdom and had had longevity and they were telling a good story. And then I started watching them die over the last 20 years. This is almost a full 20 year journey now. In March of 2024, it will be a full 20 years. And during this time, I was very fortunate to run into a thing called marine phytoplankton that started at the end of 2006. And I found out how to stabilize marine phytoplankton, which is a super nutrient for the human body, which very people know about, very few people. And when I told a few people about it, they were interested and they would try it. Not in Canada. People in Canada turned their nose up at it. But when I was in California, people down there were really interested. They never heard of it before. Let me try that. They would try it and then they would see a response, which was like, it charges your body's battery up. That's all I could tell them because I wasn't a scientist, right? And I said, all I know is it feels like you get charged up. It's not like coffee at all or any stimulant. It takes a little while. You'll feel it right away when you take it, but it's gradual. And so that caused a company to start because I, I was forced to start providing this based on the people I knew in Europe, in Australia. That's where the two raw materials came from for this product. And I came up with a name called Oceans Alive. And people loved the name. So Oceans Alive, what's that? Well, it's marine phytoplankton, and it provides 90% of the oxygen we live on in the earth. And when you take it, it's perfectly compatible to your human operating system, and your body will love it. So we ended up starting a small company that grew. We generated around $90 million or so, somewhere in that realm. And instead of taking the money and putting it to our own personal use, I always put the money back into research and development. And then we built a factory, and we learned a lot about how to educate through marketing material in order to get people to know about this very unique thing. And then more unique things showed up. So with all of that resource and energy, investing continuously back in. And the, the reason we did that, like people think I'm crazy, right? We have $90 million that went through our bank account. And where's all the money? It's your money because you're investing in yourself. So if you buy something from me that's of great value, then you're getting a far greater value than the money because people don't have time to go and do what we did. I was given that access, but the money that you give to me, you're trusting with me is your money. I give you something in return, and then I give you more in return afterwards. So I knew the money was not our money. It wasn't the company's money. It was money that our customers were investing in themselves with. So I just thought, okay, good. So I learned all this really cool stuff. And every time I learned more, I would then share it with everybody. So if I wanted something for me, I had to want it for you. That was the rule. I can't just want it for me and then you don't get it. Or I'll tell you something else to make money off you on some other thing, like all the pharmaceutical companies and a lot of the nutraceutical companies do the same thing, right? And they get all their white papers and their clinical trials and their so-called validation that the product's going to do what they say it is. But I found that most stuff didn't work. There was very few things that worked that actually delivered because in your physical body, you can measure everything. So in the physical world, seeing is believing. I don't want to have some blind faith in something to get sucked into a shiny object and then spend a bunch of money and find that it doesn't work. So I did all the testing for everyone with myself and with people around me and found out if it doesn't deliver, then don't tell people about it. If it's just trending like some curcumin product or some latest trending shiny object in the health space, don't jump on those bandwagons. You could go and make hundreds of millions of dollars on shiny objects. That's the truth. And we just took a longer more diligent route and said, no, this is not about making money. This is about generating value. And if I find out the truth, and I also had this very sneaking suspicion that along the way, I was going to find out how to be healthy for free. I thought, wouldn't that be a novel idea? That sounds too good to be true. But what if it was true? Would I be open to it? And I just always had that feeling, this gut feeling that I think is free and probably free. <laughs> and sure enough, all of the biggest things are free. And then you have certain raw materials, certain elements that you, your body requires that are must-haves. And when you use them and you consume them, you fuel your body in a very unique way. Your health completely changes. I, I, I'm so healthy right now that I didn't even know. 
I, I'm 10 times healthier now than I thought I ever could be. Let's put it that way. I was like, what? And, and now it cost me less than free because I was spending so much money learning and seeing all these people and the wealthier, like I, I ended up hanging around a lot of wealthy people and I saw them spending like six, $7,000 a month. They had doctors, they have all these special supplements, they do testing all the time and they weren't really getting anywhere. They were okay, but they weren't going to live continuously. They got older and older as I saw them. So I knew that wasn't the answer. But when I found out what the true things were and you employ them, then all that other stuff goes away. And what's the most valuable thing to you right now is your time. Your time is the most valuable thing. It's not money. Time is not money. Time is super valuable. It's worth way more than money. And then you have your energy, you have your effort, you have your bandwidth, and then you have the resources you've got. And those resources are in the form of money. So you want to spend as little as possible in all those categories to get the maximum results. And that's really the elixir that moves the needle and makes it happen for you. So that was my pursuit to find that. And I knew I couldn't go find it. It had to find me by me being open to the idea that it's actually free or better than free. And there's this thing called a, an exchange of expense. So if you have to spend this much time to get this result, but now you only have to spend this much time, this goes away. And now you're just doing this. And the same with raw materials that you're going to consume, nutrients, elements, and then your thoughts. So it just took this forever and ever, it seems, to finally get to what we have today. So now I'm ready to share it all. And I just want everyone to have the information. Once you have the information, then you're on track. And, and then it's up to you what you do with the info. I found out where the keys were. I now just give the keys away. The keys are yours. Now let's see what you do with them. And what you'll do with them is all based upon how you feel. So if you go to physiology, it all starts in physiology. My journey started with a physiological situation that was deadly. Now I have a physiological situation that is very lively. It's the exact opposite. And physiology drives your energy. And so people use the word emotion incorrectly. Like emotion is energy in motion. That's where the word came from. So your body is producing energy. And then it gives motion. Now, if your energy is toxic, you're going to get a lot of motion into a toxicity realm, which landed me at 46 years old with all this junk in my body and a lot of problems. And I felt bad. I felt so bad. So feelings are driven by the energy that's in motion at that time. And how do I stop that? Because this is a train that's got momentum. Wow. I got a tumor and heart disease and liver problems and what? So it had momentum. I had to learn how to get that train brought to a halt get on another track with the right train in order to change it. I couldn't stop the train. I just had to find out how to slow it down and how to make sure that whatever fuel I was giving to that train that was on the tracks moving fast to an early death had to be shut down. So that's the basic analogy. And then get another train started that's the right train and get that up to momentum. So now that train is at momentum right now. And we have all the information, all the raw materials, all the keys, so people can unlock their body to keep living. And otherwise you could die in an accident, but there's only a 5% chance of that. And what I noticed that when I became healthier and my brain started working 10 times better, I became much more aware of my surroundings. So driving, I'm much more aware, just cruising around life. There's all kinds of things that can put you at peril, but even the unaware people are only dying at 5% of accidents. 95% of the population never dies from an accident. They die from what, either a disease or what they call old age, but old age is a disease. So that's that in, a, in yeah. a nutshell. I perceive a beauty in all of this because you went from chaos to coherence and there is a certain ugliness in chaos. But if you can look at it from the perspectival lens of coherence, there is a beauty inside of it because beauty creates coherence. And yeah. when you perceive beauty and you're sensitive and sensitized, you have a sensualization to beauty, then you, you generate new neural networks because yes. they become more attuned to the beauty of things. You are on track and on time and in tune with something that enables you to have a pivotal and foundational role, a powerful and potent one, to be able to, in the face of the 300-foot tsunami of the good opinion of others, of mm -hmm. other people, you are able to go, okay. I can look at that, but there's something else that is organizing and propelling you to take another track, to be able to dig down and find the coherence that you needed so you could step away from that chaos. And yes, it takes time. 
for that to happen. And now you've created something. Because in one way, I know that we come here on this planet. There's a uniqueness to each one of us. No one's got your DNA. No one's got your fingerprint. And things happen to us. And how do we respond to that? You could have gone into the chaos and the blame and the avoidance of it all and gone down that route. You decided to say, no, there's another way. You may have not known how, what the how of it was, but there was something that was driving you towards that coherence, that intentional coherence. And that's obviously led to Activation Products, which is your company. I was looking online yesterday, I think it was, and I'd seen how you've got a UK site as well. Yes. Which is great because I'll be ordering from the UK site. But the genesis of this company, I can see has made a significant impact in the health and wellness industry. And I was in the health and fitness industry for 25 years. It seems to me this has all begun with a remarkable journey and a vision for change. And you've taken it upon yourself physically, financially, psychologically, emotionally to explore this world and uncover these potent remedies that have powerful natural health benefits. And this relentless pursuit has led to the birth of your company, Activation Products. It was in 2006. 2007 was kind of the beginning because ah. I had to gather these components. The corporate structure went through all these different iterations. The existing company never started operating until 2014. So it took seven years to get okay. to that point to have to say, hey, we got to take this really seriously. Because when you're talking about a physical product, a natural physical product mm. manufacturing facility, there are multiple certifications. There's all kinds of quality control criteria you have to look at. You can't scale with quality unless you set a deep foundation. So now for the last almost 10 years, we have set a very deep foundation in order to actually scale to serve people on a scale. And it's with the intent to have 1 million people find out about this by 2028. And I, what I mean, not about find out about us, but find out about how this works for themselves. Mm. Yeah, they're going to find out about who we are and what we have and all that's great. But it's a deeply individual thing. So one at a time, people hear the information and that either resonates with them, right? Or it doesn't. If they're not tuned yet at this level, that's okay. They can say, oh, I wasn't tuned at all. I was like so whack that, that, that you could give me the signals and nothing resonated because I was in total chaos. But I knew that the resonance was out there somewhere. I just wasn't quite there yet. So finally, I'm at a place of resonance and coherence. And that's true. But that's proven physically because at the very top of the pyramid is the results. It's like an arrow that points up with a pyramid on top or a triangle or whatever you want to call it. And then below that is what's going to drive that results. And my results were catastrophic. And now they are the exact opposite because it goes physiology to emotion, to feeling. Feeling affects your thinking. Thinking affects your behavior, delivers the results. So I couldn't get good results unless I went right to the very base, which is my physiology. We have to go there because the action is something you do further down the line, but that's a result of all the things that go on beforehand. And you have to start with your physiology because your physiology, it's always in the present. It's your mind that can be in the past or the future, or it can be in this whole machinery of distraction, but you're mm -hmm. always in the present. I love your ethos about you're not just doing it for you, you're doing it for your customer. That's a beautiful reciprocity to have as part of your ethos of your business. And your company's mission statement centers more on bringing the best top level health to your customers. What does top level health mean to you? And how does activation products embody this philosophy in its offerings? So top level health is measured only with one key performance indicator. The KPI is this, that as you get older, you should be getting healthier, more fit, more agile, more flexible, more mobile, much more intelligent. You should see better cardiovascular, better respiratory, better digestion, better endocrine system, better autonomic nervous system control, all culminating to a body that you're walking around in this very high functioning. And I knew that there were good things there. And then there was great, greater. And then up here, way up here is the greatest. So 
knowing what the greatest things are to do to support your own body's ability to naturally and automatically heal and stay healthy is far less effort than the good, the great, and the greater. The good, the great, and the greater are very expensive. The greatest drops all the costs down, time, energy, effort, and money to achieve what you are now, like tomorrow, I'm going to be healthier than I am today. And I've seen that because that's the track I'm on now. And all my desires are to see that for everyone who is caring enough to keep their body alive. And I found that the society we live in is what I would call primarily a death culture. People talk about the bucket list, just that alone, just that statement alone, a bucket list, really? People are what I call vertically unwell. Yes. They're walking around with diabetes, arthritis, all these mm -hmm. problems that on the surface, it looks like you're functional, but your body is not functioning optimally at all. And that leads to the visits to hospitals. There are signs here that I abhor. They're road crossing signs of elderly people. And this is how they depict hunched over, kyphotic, with a walking stick crossing the street. Oh, man, I know. Isn't that something? I look at that and I go, okay, so what impression is that imagery dictating to somebody's subconscious mind? Pretty hardcore stuff. It's hardcore. Let's change the landscape. Because as you're describing, this architecture is an amazing technology. The emotions are like weather. They're just patterns that come and go and come and go. But the architecture, we can do so much with it. I was speaking to somebody the other day. They told me they spent $100,000, $100,000 to go on a health retreat. That's just crazy. But it's like their place where they're starting. They're at a level where they're going forward. Obviously, they have a great desire to feel well. They don't want to get old and die. They're willing to invest that kind of money. And people do charge that kind of money because they want that person to take it very seriously. And they sell a high ticket item to someone. I don't do that. But what I told some very wealthy people, because I knew that if I was going to help them and they have a great reason to stay alive because they have a lot of value to create in this world, that if I was to help them and I've told them, I said, this is how it's going to work. It's going to cost you actually that number, $100,000. It's going to cost you $100,000, but you're not going to give the money to me. You're going to put the $100,000 in trust with your lawyer. And that $100,000 is going to have an agreement around that. And if you actually follow through and I will give you the keys, I'm going to give them to you. You don't have to give me the 100000 to get the keys. You got to put it in trust. And then you're going to use those keys. And these are the results at the top of the pyramid that you're going to get. It's going to take a full year. You're going to go through this step and that one and this one. This one. At the end of the year, if you didn't get those exact results that I'm telling you, you can get. And if you have employed everything I've said to you, then you release the $100,000 to me. I'm not going to take it personally. I'm going to use that money to put into further research because we're always learning. And you get to a place where you learn a certain amount. It's like the film industry. The quality of film got up to a certain level where it was so good you couldn't tell if it was real or if you're seeing something real or right. And then that's where it's remained for a long time. The film industry is amazing. And then they went digital and they went laser and they went 3D and it became more real. But now they've maxed it out. We, we don't have sensory that can get any better. So that's where it's there now. So with health, it's the same thing. So now when they get there, then they, then they would obviously release the $100,000. If they didn't get it, they just tell their lawyer to put it back into their bank account. <laughs> it's that simple. Why would you pay? For something that you didn't get the results from. I'm willing to risk my time for you and coach you and get you, because there are things that happen when you do certain things that are going to cause your body to go through a bit of a roller coaster in that first year. And you need help because you're going to go, well, this happened. And what do I do about that? It's simple. This is why this happened. This is what you do about it. Oh, okay. And so that's my time. Yeah. That's the proper way. Don't say, give me a hundred grand to show up my, at my retreat. And I'm going to give you all this data and <laughs> I'm going to keep your money. That's the way it should be. If you have the truth, you can do that. So many clients who, many years ago, who would go off to a retreat in the Redwoods and spend mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of dollars on something that doesn't give them a toolkit of understanding. It gives them a rule book of behavior as mm -hmm. distinct from understanding their physiology. What is happening to their physiology? What changes are happening? What can you expect? And you're moving towards an outcome, but there's a process to go through. 
I was looking at the website, Activation Products, and looking at some of your flagship offerings. One thing that caught my eye was the company's Ease Magnesium and Perfect Press Oils. Can you shed light on the specific benefits and uses of these products and how they contribute to one's overall well-being? So the different products have different use. Some of them are detox. Others are micro and nanonutrient fuels, and some of them are the proper oils because like the billions of dollars of seed oil that is Mm. sold in this world is catastrophic for human health. So they're evil. They're adulterated. I found out that you could get an unadulterated oil, for example, black human seed oil, which has been known for millennia, and that when you consume it or put it on your skin or your hair or whatever, it allows your body to cleanse and nourish itself simultaneously. And you only need a tiny amount, one teaspoon a day, and that you can make your dental perfect and you can help with your gut health and you can help to get the cell membranes in your body working better. And I don't need to sell saturated fats like coconut oil, butter, animal fats, because those are part of a person's diet they can get anywhere. You just got to make sure they're organic and clean and good. Mm. And that's the most important fats they can consume. So I'm not saying, oh, buy this, these are the only fats you need. Are you kidding? No, this is a very specific, highly concentrated, non-diluted, certified organic, certified pure, and processed where it's not damaged. Because as soon as you go to a manufacturing facility and you start jamming things through equipment, it damages it. There has to be a gentleness to the whole thing. And you mentioned Ease. Ease was one of the first products that showed up very shortly after the Oceans Alive showed up. And the ease goes transdermally into your skin. So it doesn't tax your kidneys or your digestive system. Mm-hmm. It goes in immediately geographically where you place it. So if people have restless legs or they have muscle cramps or whatever problems they've got, it goes in and it relaxes the muscles. It, it helps the autonomic nervous system get into resonance and sim- parasympathetic into sympathetic to get things done back into parasympathetic, deeper sleeps, better quality sleep overall better brain function because it's a fuel. Mm -hmm. So the studies that were on magnesium were profound and they showed how deficient people are and what that causes 330 different biochemical reactions requiring magnesium, but it has to be the right form of magnesium in the right delivery. That was the number one. Like there's all these other fancy magnesium products, but I find that most of them are just marketing and the magnesium that resonates with us and is coherent to our body, comes from the ocean. So that's an ocean extract, only it's an extremely purified form of magnesium chloride hexahydrate. Because I saw other companies give transdermal magnesium, but they're just magnesium chloride from some mining operation that has a waste product called magnesium chloride. It's not pure. They melt the flakes into water and tell you to spray it on your body, and it doesn't even get in, and it's uncomfortable. So we found out that you can use a vortex technology to take the fluid that you put this raw material into. So we have a thing where we make like literal USP pharmaceutical grade pure water. And then we put as much magnesium chloride hexahydrate as possible without it falling out of solution. And then you put it on your skin after you vortex it for 12 hours in their facility, then you put it in a spray bottle, you put that in your skin, it immediately goes into your body. It's smooth and comfortable and you can feel it right away. And that allows that structural magnesium to store in your tissue. Whereas if you just get magnesium from Epsom salts, for example, magnesium sulfate and put it in your bathtub, everyone notices, oh, that's so nice and it relaxes me, but it doesn't hold in the tissue because it has no structure. It's good, but it's not awesome. So I thought, what is the thing? If I'm going to be in a bath with magnesium and it is going to be magnesium chloride hexahydrate, that's bioidentical to me, to my fluids inside. Just like the ocean minerals, the sea minerals, in their concentrated form in liquid is what you want going in. But there's been billions of dollars of marketing and data output from the news medias and from the health space to tell you, oh, no, you don't want to have too much salt. It will harm you. You could get high blood pressure and strokes and heart attacks and aneurysms. And just you can have salt, but not too much. And then I found out what the true formulas were and the exact amount that you have to take, which is a minimum one pound of unrefined sea minerals per month in liquid form, where you take all the water you drink and convert it from water into electrolytic fluid. I don't drink water at all. This looks like water, but that's not water. This is electrolytic fluid. 
that I make every day. I batch it. I don't make it every day. I batch it for the week. Mm. I drink it all the way through the day. And I drink one liter for every 50 pounds of body weight. And I found out that is the actual raw material my body requires to produce clean blood. So I don't need to worry about cleansing my blood when I'm producing clean blood. And yes, we do have things that do cleanse the blood to assist it. But if I only ever just took a blood cleanser, I'm dealing with the same five liters of blood that I'm not replacing. You have to replace all of the blood in your body regularly because your body goes into proper blood production. Your body is a blood production facility. So all I got to do is give it the raw material. And wow, what a massive change. That's the reverse engineering thing. Like I looked at, what am I doing the most of? I'm breathing 11,000 liters of air a day. When I'm 20 years old, I have perfect kidney function. When I'm 60 years old, if I don't know this information, my kidney function is 35% as efficient as it was when I was 20 because I have breathed 160 million liters of air between 20 and 60. And in the air, as good as air is, oxygen and nitrogen and helium and the energy that is in the air we breathe in. But with that comes tire dust. Wow. 10 billion pounds a year of nanoparticulate tire dust is released off all this low-tech equipment we're driving around in on these stupid rubber tires. And it's rubber, cotton, epoxies, resins, plastics, metals, and chemicals. And we're breathing it. And it goes in and it plugs you up because your blood system grabs it out of your lungs, distributes it throughout your body, and then your blood keeps getting more contaminated, filling up your liver, filling up your kidneys, and they become less efficient. Then you die. You eventually die because you plugged up so much. That's just tire dust. How about brake dust? You don't see brake dust laying on the road. It's in the air. It's nano. Then you have cremated bodies. You've got industrial pollutants. You've got fuel being burned. You've got all these things. And then they come up with battery-powered cars. That's stupid. That's like as stupid as it gets because the battery-powered cars weigh way more than a normal car. They're way more powerful. So they wear the tires out almost twice as fast as a gas-powered car. Like, who thought of that one? Then you got your big trucks with 18 wheels on every truck, plus the B trains with another 16 wheels. Wow, we are getting contaminated. So we have to produce clean blood to make sure. Like it it took one year when I finally found out what the formula was. It is five grams of unrefined sea minerals per liter of water, one liter per 50 pounds of body weight. My body went into blood production and everything changed. I went through the roller coaster ride of having athletic blood pressure readings to what they call high blood pressure. Within four months, for the entire four months of drinking the the sea salt water, my blood pressure went to 180 over 120, confirming mentally and optically that, oh, the salt is so bad, it caused high blood pressure. But I knew that wasn't the problem. I knew that wasn't what it was. I knew that I was producing more blood. And I also found out that my body was full of all these nanoparticulates that had hardened my body. I had hypertension. It just wasn't showing up until I started producing the right amount of blood. That clean blood then removed all those nanoparticulate accumulated amounts out of my body. And my blood pressure went back down to normal within seven months, drinking the same amount of salt water. Had I gone to a medical doctor during that first four months, he would say to me, Ian, are you total idiot or what? Don't you know that if you take salt, that's causing, get off the salt. You've got to go to super pure water. I'm going to have to give you a diuretic. you got to get this fluid out of your system. You are going to kill yourself. I'm like, no. 180 over 120 is not high blood pressure. That's just what you call high blood pressure. If I hadn't done anything, like drink salt water, and my blood pressure went to 180 over 120, which does happen with people because they're that bad, that contaminated, that's a big problem because then they're weak. The walls of their arteries, their veins, and their capillaries are now weak, and they're full of all this nanoparticulate. They're hard. You could blow up at that point. But I'm not going to be blowing up when I'm softening my whole system, getting rid of all the hardened arteries, veins, and capillaries, getting all my muscles cleaned out completely, all the hypertension is gone. And I did it by producing clean blood. Now I'm through. That's part of the roller coaster. So people need coaching. It's, oh, my blood pressure is really high. That's because your doctor told you that because he doesn't know. Your doctor's trying to help you. He's freaking out. If you go to a doctor, you're 180 over 120, what are they going to tell you? They're going to tell you the same thing every time. Even a natural path will tell you that. If, if they don't know about this. I think understanding the science behind these products is crucial to appreciating their potential benefits. 
a question I have for you, and I'm thinking about people who are listening to this. What are some of the most profound health benefits that individuals can experience by incorporating activation products into their daily wellness routines? Number one, they're going to turn on their digestive system to where it's supposed to be when you're young, and it's going to stay that way. So therefore, your hydrochloric acid in your stomach is going to be the best possible quality within a very short period of time because hydrochloric acid requires chloride minerals as the fuel, just like your body requires the sea minerals to produce blood. They require the sea minerals to produce good hydrochloric acid. So all of a sudden, you're digesting all your food at maximum efficiency. Now you're able to get nutrients. I I eat 25% the amount of food that I used to eat back in the day. So my grocery bill is now 75% less for my grocery bill. And I don't get hungry. I don't gain weight. I don't lose weight. I'm I'm just happy at all times. It's just literally that simple. So that's gut health, number one. Number two, brain function is going to be maximized. People are told in school, did you know that the scientists discovered that we're only using 10% of our brains? Really? Says who? (laughs) I use 100% of my brain and you use 100% of your brain. And everyone listening uses 100% of their brain. But if you believe the lie that you're somehow this kind of retarded person who's only using 10%, then you're going to believe that. Your brain will listen to you and go, oh, I guess I'll go on a 90% vacation. So the elemental things that fuel the brain in the head, the brain in the heart, and the brain in the gut, they bring you back online like I've never, ever had levels of intelligence like I have now. The ability to remember things, to compute data, to transmit the data because all the memory banks are now clear. And then the cardiovascular system, it dials right in. So it cleans all the muscle walls of your arteries, veins, and capillaries so that they're working like a young person. Then your endocrine system, with the elements that we have, the iodine is the fuel for every cell in your body. When it goes in through your digestive system or in through your skin, you can put it in either way. I like it through the digestive system. Because then it goes in and carpet bombs all these nanoparticulate contaminants that are in us, number one. And it also gets rid of any bacterial overgrowth that shouldn't be there or microbial problems or pathogenic stuff. And when it reacts with those things, because it's such a cleansing thing, it converts to iodide. So I have lots of iodide going through my bloodstream that then my thyroid picks up, produces T3, T4 hormones. But they go to the endocrinologist and they, oh, you're not producing, your T3 is too low and blah, blah, blah. You got hypothyroidism or you got hyperthyroidism. And as soon as you believe that, you're going to take their drugs or their supplement thing or whatever it is that's poisonous. And you're going to be saying, oh, my thyroid is off. No, my thyroid is on. Thank you very much. But if I'm convinced my thyroid was off, I might go on to Synthroid or I might go on to Desiccated Thyroid or whatever they're going to try to prescribe to me. The fact is they're convicting my thyroid of creating a crime that it's not doing because the T4 is converting to T3 and giving me all that I need, but they don't talk about that. So the misdiagnosis is the problem. So when you learn the way things actually are, then you make very good intelligent decisions because your thyroid is such a crucial part, but then all your glands are. I had an enlarged prostate because I didn't realize that I needed to produce clean blood the clean blood went in and cleaned out all the junk that was causing my thyroid, my prostate to enlarge. And then it went back to normal. All my urinary problems went away. Sexual function came back properly, like I would, like a young man. So that's all it was. I just needed to produce clean blood to get my prostate sorted out. And the same with women with their reproductive organs. It's the same thing. And if they're low on iodine and iodide, then they're going to get endometriosis and fibroid cysts and and end up with a hysterectomy. Yeah, we got to cut that crap out of your body. That's not working right. Or a gallbladder problem. Oh, we got to remove the gallbladder. No, you don't. You got to have the right quality of bile. Then you don't ever have a, a gallbladder attack. I'll tell you an interesting story about my mom. My mom, she would have loved to have known that she passed before I got the final downloads and she died in her hundredth year. But one thing she was telling people since she was in her fifties is her friends would get a gallbladder attack. And they were being told by the doctor to get it removed. And you go, just relax. Go down to the drugstore and buy dicolium. Dicolium is what gives you the quality bile acids. And it's like a hydrochloric acid supplement kind of thing. But it was called dicolium. It was made by Novartis, Novartis Pharmaceutical Company. And it was like $5. You go down and you buy it for $5. You take 350 milligrams of dicolium. 
20 to 30 minutes later, your gallbladder attack is gone. Wow. She found that because there was this guy named Dr. Elliot who told her that when she was young. He said, if you ever have any problems with your, with your gallbladder, don't worry. You just go down and buy it. You could literally buy it in the drugstore. So time goes on and then it was $35. She was very angry that it was $35. I'm like, mom, $35 is perfectly fine. That's called inflation. And then they stopped making it. They don't make it anymore. Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. So I found out where you can get it. When I learned this from my mom, because I'd had people would call me up during the last 20 years. Oh, I got this gallbladder. What do I do? Oh, just get dicolium. Then they couldn't get it after about five years when I started telling them. I found a company in California and I got a great big tub made. It was like $1,500. It was like thousands of doses in this thing. And so I just give one dose of 350 milligrams to somebody. I had it. I would just send it to them. Yeah, don't get your gallbladder taken up. Just take this stuff. That should come back on the market. They had to custom make it for me. It was a small pharmaceutical company out of California. That was around eight years ago when I had that done. I still have the tub. I don't run into many people who get a hold of me when they have a gallbladder problem. And, and this stuff is totally shelf stable. It will last for hundreds of years and never lose its potency. So there's things like that, little keys that we need. But the gallbladder, once you have your hydrochloric acid sorted out with the sea minerals every single day, that's gone. You don't need dicolium ever. It was like that kind of a thing. One of the things I love about what you're doing is that you empower people to prioritize their health and their well-being. And Activation Products provides these high quality health solutions, as well as encouraging people to prioritize their health. And I see there's a broader message and purpose of the company. I was intrigued by your company's message which says, don't settle for subpar health. It's not worth it. And based on that, as an individual or people listening to this who may feel overwhelmed by the prospect of improving their health, where should they start on their journey? They're going to start with the marine phytoplankton, which is bathed in highly concentrated sea mineral liquid. It is all heirloom. It's two strains of marine phytoplankton that are heirloom. They've never been altered. They've actually been DNA selected. They found the highest quality marine phytoplankton strains of Nanochloropsis, Gatatana, and Tetrasemis is the other one. And they did a test in a photobioreactor on land where it's grown using actual ocean water that's purified with these heirloom strains. And they did a, an eight-month test where every day in the production, there was a phenomena that about 10% of the batch would be higher quality. They would take the 10% higher quality and replant it. And they kept doing that daily for eight months until they maximized it out, until they had the highest level quality of the original DNA of that marine phytoplankton. So they start with that, and that immediately gives them an activation. That's where the name activation products came from, because everyone who took the marine phytoplankton oceans alive was like, what? Is this even legal? And so that's the first place. And then the second place is to get the transdermal magnesium going in. And the third one is iodine. The fourth one is Solaris. So iodine is, well, I already described that. Solaris is this remarkable discovery. We're able to take an extract of the entire clove plant, all the parts of it, rosemary as well, and thyme. And it's highly concentrated in a drop form, and it's fully water-soluble instantly. You just put it in the glass and drink it. And what that does, it's a mop-up operation. It goes in and it grabs all the stuff that is releasing when you're detoxing and converts it into inert matter. So it can't harm you. It's unlike a, a zeolite that cages and might drop off and put heavy metals mm. in the brain from the gut, which you don't want. So it actually neutralizes the stuff and then you just excrete it out of your body. And it works with your dental as well. It, it helps with dental health. It works on the skin. It does something we can't advertise, which is if people have a terminal skin problem without naming it, and it shows up on the skin and it's a nasty looking thing, and you put the Solera straight onto it without any dilution, because otherwise you dilute it when you drink it. And you put it in your toothbrush, full concentrate to brush with. But on the skin, you put it on and you rub it in. And within about two weeks, the whole thing blows up. And then it dries up and you peel it off like it goes away. And there's no scarring. And we did a test in Kenya in 2019 and 2020 before this whole weirdness happened in the world. And it was for malaria because malaria is the biggest killer out there for a pathogen. It had a 100% kill rate for 900 people over a four-month trial, four different trials literally registered with the Kenyan government with doctors involved in test kits for validation. And it was like two drops got rid of, two drops in a glass of water, got rid of 45% of the malaria problems for 45% of the people. 
The next 50% had to have two doses of two drops in water. And the remaining 5% was either three doses, four doses, or five doses. And it's literally pennies. It didn't have any ill effect where people were feeling sick because there's different things you can take for malaria that give you projectile vomit and this other stuff. None yeah. of that happens. You just get well. So when that happened, I was like, that actually worked because I was told it worked. But I thought, yeah, let's find out. <laughs> we'll see. And it did. It worked. So that's really the core. I love people to get that because in the old world, the statement was always like, hey, it'll cure everything except for death. It won't. If you died, you can't come back. But if you're not dead, it fixes everything. I don't believe that. I don't believe it's the cure-all, but it, it acts like that. It has this thing where it deals with symptoms, but it's really all about just a steady flow of the detoxification, the cleansing and nourishing, and keeping it simple so that the budget is handleable by everyone, and then they only need tiny amounts. But when you get into the sea minerals, we're coming up with, a, with another sea mineral product very soon that is going to be even more affordable because the Oceans Live has the sea minerals in it, but the value of the Oceans Live is the marine phytoplankton on top. That's the highest value thing. But when people start doing the sea minerals and liquid, that's where the game changes. Because now everything you're doing, all the food you eat, all the supplementation you do, all your meditation, your exercise, your mindfulness, all those things that you do are going to work actually about 10 times better. Respiratory is a big change. So I've used myself as the test case throughout all these things. And when I got into the salt water and drank volumes of it, within seven months, I started to look like I was getting sick, but I wasn't sick. I wasn't running any kind of fever temperature. I had no infection in my system, but I was coughing up this white glue that had no taste. And it was very intense stuff. It was like glue. And it would get into my bronchioles and I'd have to go out of the room if I was with people, cough it significantly in order to get it up into my throat and then spit it out. And that would happen every 30 minutes for a whole month. And people were saying to me, like, I thought you were supposed to be healthy. You sound terrible because of all the stuff coming out of me. And after a month, it just stopped. And about a month and a half or so later, it started again. And it did it for another whole month. I'm like, am I back into this again? I thought I got rid of it all. And then it hasn't happened since. But anyway, what that told me is that this cleansing of the blood was allowing my lungs to finally release. If you go on Google and look how much the surface area of inside your lungs is 260 square kilometers. It's like people think, oh, like that's like a, like a soccer field. No. How about a thousand soccer fields? Okay. It's 260 square kilometers of surface area that gets plugged up. And then all this stuff just was coming out and it had no color, no taste. And it was like glue. What was that? I don't know. I never sent it to a lab to have it analyzed. But now my lung capacity, when I breathe into my lungs, it feels like I got double lung capacity from what I had a year ago. What's the most rewarding aspect of your work and where can people find you? Yeah, the most rewarding part of my work is not only from what it did for me, but what it does for everyone who finds out about it. There's a massive satisfaction that happens when you see people get the results and find out that they can actually feel better as they get older and that the healthy body doesn't die. Eventually, you're going to wear out. You know, if it takes a few hundred years, you're going to wear out because of the elements. And there's not enough oxygen in the air anymore, and there is the pollution that we're dealing with. But you can mitigate that. So the great satisfaction is to watch people get rid of the problem. Because when the problems are gone, you no longer have to have remedies because the problem's gone. That's, that's the most satisfying thing there because I know I'm actually sharing something with them that they're going to love. And what was the second question? Where can people find you? Activationproducts.com. And also on some social media platforms, over the last now nine months, I have been producing or publishing very short videos. They're like a minute and a half. And I've got hundreds of those videos out now. And I put it on TikTok. I don't ever go on social platforms and I don't have time to actually go and watch things unless somebody sends me a link. But I was able to produce by just talking to the camera the things that I've learned. And we now have millions of views on some of these videos because they're the things that really interest people. So they can find out a lot of free information. What's your handle on TikTok? That's Ian Activated. And Instagram is Ian Clark Activated. I'll put those in the show notes. And I see you also have a UK site. We have a fulfillment center in the UK, Canada, United States, and Australia. And we're going to expand to more countries soon because the reason you have to have fulfillment in those countries is the shipping is ridiculously expensive. I'm really pleased you're in the UK. You have a loyal subscriber here. I definitely want to make a start with that because I'm always interested in gaining optimal health. 
One of the key things I'm really committed to is learning and aligning towards what optimal health means. I can be functional, mobile, not kyphotic, not like those signs on the crossings. We have to change the whole mindset and the patterns and the skills so people can have much more self-authorship about their own health, but they've got to take responsibility and not go into blame and avoidance. Do you have any parting words at all, Ian? Yeah, I always encourage everyone to build their enthusiasm. It's your responsibility to build your enthusiasm. Now, other people can help you, but you also have to encourage them to building self-esteem, self-worth. And your enthusiasm creates joy and joy creates a lot of good actions, a lot of great thinking. So yeah, build your enthusiasm. That's the big one. Beautiful. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. It's been an honor and a privilege to speak with you. And I'd love to invite you back, get a deeper penetration into some of the products and talk a little bit more about those if you want to do that. Yeah, that'd be great, Peter. It's been a a real pleasure. And I love the fact that you're very knowledgeable about all these things as well. And as that draws the ability to have a free flowing conversation, you're definitely resonating and I'm resonating with you. You have to be a commitment to lifelong learning, but not only learning but aligning to that learning. So it becomes part of my basic constitution. Getting to the why of the whole thing. Yeah, but a powerful why. I like to understand what is the powerful why and potency of this and what the effects are in terms of having a sustainable long-term health. Because health is really about holism. And we don't do holism. We do fragmentation and division and we're very mechanical about everything. We've got to step away from the old Newtonian paradigms to become paradigm pioneers. We can either be a prisoner of our past or a pioneer of the future. And you can see a pioneer like you are by the arrows in their back. (laughs) Yeah, you got a good shields, good armor. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you. Be well. That's it for today's episode of Transcendent Minds. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the mysteries of the mind and of the human experience. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future episodes, we would love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts. And if you feel inclined, please leave a rating and a review, as this goes a long way. And follow us on social media to stay up to date with the latest episodes. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep transcending your mind.